Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a mini GIF player using Arduino and CircuitPython. We designed and 3D printed these enclosures to look like a small retro TV and a portable gaming console that can play animated GIFs. Powered by the Feather RP2040, this dev board is packed with lots of great features and has the ability to be used in Arduino and Adafruit CircuitPython. This project uses CircuitPython's USB mass storage capability to emulate a flash drive so we can just drag and drop GIF images. We just had to convert a batch of GIFs and resize them to match the resolution of the TFT displays. In the Arduino sketch, we just need to configure the display to match the pins in our setup. To compile the code, we're using the RP2040 Arduino Core by Phil Hauer. The animated GIF decoder library is from BitBank Software. The code to build this project is on GitHub so you can download and try it out. We're using a 1.9 inch and a 1.7 inch TFT display. Both of these displays feature SPI interfacing for quick wiring and are both IPS so they look nice and crisp. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. Pick your favorite PLA filament and 3D print the parts to build either the mini retro TV or the portable gaming console. Start by wiring up the display to the Feather RP2040 following the circuit diagram on the Adafruit learning system. The 3D printed bracket fits in between the display and the dev board and gets secured together using machine screws. The slide switch is wired up to the Feather RP2040 so we can easily turn the display on and off. The LiPo battery is small enough to fit inside the 3D printed enclosures and can be recharged over USB. The slide switch is press fitted into the built-in holder with the actuator accessible on the other side. With the battery installed, the back cover snap fits over the enclosure, making it close shut. And that's it! We think these cute displays will go great with dioramas, Lego builds, or really any project with miniatures. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.